Myasthenia gravis is an autoimmune disease where your body creates antibodies that attack the neuromuscular junction. It causes a lot of neurologic symptoms like fatigue, generalized weakness, problems with double vision and drooping of your eyelids, problems with speaking and swallowing, shortness of breath. People can usually develop it at any time, but usually in the early adult life is when it's most prevalent. Usually females a little more than males, as with most autoimmune diseases. It's relatively rare, but uh, I've seen quite a bit because when uh, I was at Vanderbilt training, I did a fellowship in neuromuscular diseases, and this was one of the more common diseases that we would be referred for. The diagnosis of myasthenia gravis is typically made with blood tests that check for certain antibodies that can cause the problems. And we can also do uh, testing with nerve conductions that can also be helpful. Myasthenia gravis is a really rewarding condition for me to treat because there are a lot of options for treatment. You know, because uh, the antibodies are attacking the neuromuscular junction, there are medications that can help the signal for the neuromuscular junction so that you can improve with the weakness and the double vision and the problems with speaking and swallowing and the shortness of breath. And we can also use immunosuppressants to decrease the immune system to try to decrease the production of the antibodies that are causing the, the problems. So there are a lot of possibilities that we can do to, to help patients with myasthenia gravis. Myasthenia gravis can present very abruptly with a lot of symptoms that can be very concerning. But fortunately, it's one of the more treatable conditions we see in neurology. So if, you're get, if you get diagnosed early and you're treated with the appropriate therapies, you can do very well and maybe even go on the rest of your life without having any additional symptoms, which is one of the reasons why I think it's such a rewarding condition to, to see in patients.